This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Congress President Rahul Gandhi and his BJP counterpart Amit Shah would be in pole bound Mizoram today to boost their party's chances in the upcoming assembly elections. BJP sources said that Mr. Shah would arrive at the Lengpui Airport near Aizol and visit southernmost Mizoram's Langthlai, Myanmar border Champhai and Assam border Vairingte by helicopter where he would address public rallies. He would come to Aizol from Vairingte and release the BJP's manifesto document for the state before leaving for Delhi. Congress leaders said that Rahul Gandhi would land at the Lengpui airport by a special flight from where he would go to Champhai to address an election rally and then return to Aizol to address a public meeting later. Security has been beefed up in view of the visit of the two leaders who are both classified as Z-plus category. Election to the 40-member Mizoram Assembly is scheduled for November 28. Vegetables sourced from various districts of Assam have been directly exported to the markets of UAE, including its capital, Dubai, for the first time from the northeast. An official release yesterday said that the first consignment of around 810 kilograms of vegetables were sent by an Air India cargo plane. For the first time in the history of the northeastern region, this facility has been started having direct export mode via air cargo, Airports Authority of India Regional Executive Director D.K. Kamra said. The Tripura government has slashed down 2% value-added tax on aviation turbine fuel from the existing 18%. This move is to encourage aviation companies to operate flights in Agartala. Tripura Deputy Chief Minister Jishnu Dev Verma said that amendment of the VAT rules 2004 was approved by the State Cabinet which reduced the aviation turbine fuel surcharge to 16%. Senior advocate Hamarsan Singh Thankyu was sworn in yesterday as the judge of the Meghalaya High Court. Chief Justice Muhammad Yaqub Mir administered the oath of office to Thankyu at the court in Shillong. Thankyu is the second Khasi to have been appointed as judge after Justice Beryl Lamare, the first tribal Khasi who was the judge of the Gauhati High Court. Thank you completed his schooling from St. Edmund's School, graduated from St. Edmund's College with honours in economics in 1987 and completed his LLB from Delhi University in 1990. He practised mainly civil and constitutional law. He was designated as senior advocate by the Gauhati High Court in 2010. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb and Union Minister of State for Tourism Alphonse Kananthanam will open the three-day first tourism mart in Agartala on Thursday. As many as 80 international tour operators from 21 countries will participate in the tourism mart. Tourism Minister Pranjit Shinghorai said yesterday. The mart comprises of exhibition of tourist sites, cultural shows and discussion and interaction on tourism promotion. Besides, leading Indian tour operators, tourism entrepreneurs, and operators from Australia, US, Canada, China, France, Russia and all South, East, South Asian countries will participate in the event. A separate program will be held at Neer Mahal, the water palace of Eastern India to showcase Tripura's cultural diversity and talent. About 300 tourists from India and abroad will also take part in the event. Four Indian boxers, including five-time world champion MC Maricom, advanced to the quarterfinals of the Women's World Boxing Championships to be played in New Delhi today. Maricom defeated Aijirim Kasanayeva of Kazakhstan to reach the quarterfinals of the 48kg category. The 35-year-old pugilist from Manipur who got a first round bye won the pre-quarterfinal match beating her Kazakh opponent by an unanimous 5-0 decision. Boxer Manisha Mon, Lovlina Borgohain and Bhagyabati Kachar also advanced to the quarterfinals in their respective weight categories. Meanwhile, Sarita Devi lost to her Ireland's opponent Kelly Annie Harrington in the lightweight 60kg category by a split 2-3 decision. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.